It's been an extraordinary day in Normandy in France, where world leaders and some of the last veterans have gathered to mark the 70th anniversary of D-Day. The massive Allied invasion of Nazi-occupied Europe on June 6th, 1944, was the biggest amphibious assault in military history. It helped bring an end to the Second World War in Europe. French President Francois Hollande has called it, quote, a day that changed the world. And joining me now from Normandy is CCTV's Richard Bestick with the latest on what has been going on today. Richard, I guess for a number of those veterans who attended today's commemorations, uh, veterans of that battle at Normandy, this will be the last time they will be there. They're getting on in years. What, was today's, what were today's events like? Well, it was a day of high emotion and high politics, as you can imagine, and, uh, and bittersweet memories, too. As, as you were rightly saying there, those veterans that returned in their hundreds, not their thousands this time, uh, came knowing that they're in their 80s and 90s. This is possibly uh, one of the last occasions on which they will be able to pay tribute to the many thousands of their comrades who died storming these beaches like Sword Beach behind me here and beginning the end of World War II uh, and beginning the uh, decimation, the destruction of the Nazi Third Reich and bringing peace uh, and uh, prosperity back to Europe. So remembering that, bittersweet memories and of course in the sidelines talks going on between uh, some 20 world leaders gathered here to witness this event seven decades since the d-day landings okay those talks that you mentioned richard a number of world leaders attending these commemorations in france notably president obama and president putin of russia and we know that they're at odds over the situation in ukraine do we know if they talk to each other what do they say well, it was a completely unscheduled meeting, came as a surprise to everybody. Uh, it was a climax to what had been a flurry of diplomatic activities in the sidelines of this event. Um, I watched the body language of uh, uh, President uh, Putin, uh, Vladimir Putin, uh, when he met the German Chancellor, uh, Angela Merkel, and uh, it was uh, quite extraordinary. Uh, the two of them, of course, speak fluent uh, German. Uh, they both speak fluent Russian, uh, but the language that was of greatest interest was the body language, the briefest of handshakes between them, then sitting down for no more than 15 seconds in front of the cameras before they were ushered out of their rooms, ushered out of the rooms by their aides. Uh, it probably sets the seal on what can be achieved. So we have, though, this flurry of diplomatic activity, the Germans, the Americans, the, the British Prime Minister David Cameron, and interestingly, the President elect of the Ukraine, Petro Poroshenko. He too had a few minutes uh, with President Putin. We know what they're going to be talking about. We simply don't know in detail what the results will be. The body language says not too much. Richard, getting back to the commemoration itself, this was a major assault, as we mentioned, a major amphibious assault. Uh, what really happened? How big an operation was this 70 years ago? Well, it was, quite simply, the biggest military operation in history. Uh, 156,000 men landing on beaches like this for 50 miles along the Normandy coast against a uh, Nazi opposition that had had four years to dig in their position. It was a killing field. It was war. Uh, with no limits. And when I say that, one of the most poignant commemorations today probably came uh, at the very start when uh, President Hollande of France remembered the 20,000 civilians that were caught up in the crossfire and killed, largely due to Allied bombing, trying to break, uh, cut off any kind of uh, enemy counterattack that would have stopped the beachhead being formed and of course that march on Berlin and the end of the Third Reich. So it was a great cost in troops, in civilians and of course in German lives as well. But the end of the day, the end of the longest day, saw success and victory for the Allies as they then began that long march on Berlin. Thanks Richard. CCTV's Richard Bestick there reporting from Sword Beach in Normandy.